Hey guys, it's Bro You Wack, and happy Thanksgiving to everyone that celebrates it and to everyone else in the world. <laughs> happy Thursday, I guess. What I like to do for Thanksgiving is to not skip the day because you guys know me, I don't like skipping days, but to take this day to show my appreciation and to give thanks. You know, this is a holiday where you have to be, th not have to, but where you get to be thankful for everything that you have in your life. And one thing that I'm extremely thankful for as of recently is the constant love, the constant support that you guys have been showing on my channel. Recently, I just hit 100K, and more or less the celebration video was the face reveal, but then yesterday I did the 100K Q&A, but even in that video, I didn't really show my appreciation because I really wanted to take this video to show my love and gratitude and appreciation because oftentimes the not in those quote-unquote milestone videos at the end, I say, you know, I'm gonna take five minutes or 10 minutes to thank all of you guys, so I'm just gonna end it here. Well, this video is kinda gonna be like that. But I'm also going to tell you guys about how Overwatch quote unquote saved my life and how I got into Overwatch. And I know that's a subject that seems very random, especially since I introduced this video saying that I was going to thank you guys a bunch of times. But I figured you didn't want to sit through a video where I constantly thank you guys, but more or less have a topic that I talk about. And this is something that I haven't really talked about, but it's something that I'm so grateful that happened. And I figured that you guys would also appreciate to hear my story of how I got into Overwatch because maybe it's kind of similar to your guys' story. For for me, it fully transformed my life. If it wasn't for Overwatch, I don't think, I definitely wouldn't be in the position where I'm at right now, and I definitely wouldn't have found one of my favorite video games of all time. So I guess the story of how I got into Overwatch, how I found Overwatch, and how it saved my life goes all the way back to the summer of 2016, and I kind of talked about this story here and there, how I was in this toxic relationship, but it was that relationship that made me go to rock bottom, that really didn't make me appreciate anything in life. Video games games, YouTube, my own life, whatever the case may be, I was just at a, at a dark patch in my life. A lot of the things that brought me happiness, like YouTube and video games and just being happy with life wasn't there anymore. And I, you know, I don't want to make this a really depressing video, but that's just where I was at. But it was really once I got out of that relationship and tried to be happy with life was around the time when I found Overwatch. And again, when I found Overwatch, that was around the time where I still wasn't really into video games. But if it wasn't for one of my friends suggesting during the free to play weekend to just try it out, just to download it. Again, none of this would have happened. And it's very fitting that this weekend is the free to play weekend for Overwatch. So if you have some of your friends, tell them, try it out just to download it. There's so many heroes, there's someone that you can connect with and we can have fun together because that's basically what happened. I was so into Call of Duty and I thought Infinite Warfare was gonna take my channel to the next level. Obviously that game was a dumpster fire, so I'm th so thankful that that didn't happen, but it was that friend that simply told me, just try it out play with me and we can have a lot of fun. I'm a Winston main and maybe you can play Mercy or something. He just wanted to pocket Mercy <laughs> and we can have a fun time. And that's exactly what happened. I started to play heroes like Bastion. Bastion was one of my first mains. I started to play Reaper and Widowmaker and Soldier. I was awful, but I was having fun. It was an FPS game and an experience that I've never had before. You know, I've been playing Call of Duty for so many years, but this was a game like none other and I was addicted. At the time, I was still trying to post Infinite Warfare but on the side, I was playing Overwatch. But eventually, I knew that my love for Overwatch would transpire into my channel. And at the time, I wasn't growing, but I thought that I was going to have to quote-unquote take a risk to post what I love, which was Overwatch. And ultimately, that risk paid off. When I was playing Overwatch around the time, I was trying to find console YouTubers that were also playing Overwatch. And nobody was really playing on console while also playing Overwatch. So I figured, okay, well, if there is a lack of support or a lack of help, let me try to fulfill that. And one of my very first videos or Overwatch videos that I posted was how to improve your aim on console. And it was that tiny video and that quote unquote risk of trying to transform my channel that made it to what it is today. If it wasn't for that simple little video, it wouldn't have introduced me into the world of Overwatch YouTube. And that was right before the new year of 2017, and I didn't really know where I was gonna go from there. You know, at the time, I still had that quote-unquote broken heart. At the time, I still wasn't in love with YouTube because my channel wasn't going anywhere, and I just felt really lost. But I knew one thing, and that is I love Overwatch. I love trying to get better. I love playing May because now I moved on from maining Bastion to maining May, and I 
I just love the game, and that's what I wanted to escape to. That's all I wanted to do. I didn't want to do anything else. I just wanted to play Overwatch because that's what brought me happiness. And I don't know if that's healthy, but at the time, it was the healthiest thing that I had. And that that's why I'm so grateful is because it brought me out of this dark little place for a couple of minutes, or in my case, a couple of hours because I played so much. But once the new year started, once 2017 began, I started to see that, that how to improve your aim on console video was gaining a little bit of traction. Not the greatest, but it was still something that I was taking a look at and be like, huh, maybe I can play and post both Call of Duty and Overwatch, thinking I can do both at the same time. So while I wasn't playing as much Call of Duty, I was playing a whole lot of Overwatch, but I was still trying to do both. And luckily, I was playing competitive one day, and I was playing on Hanamura with May, and I decided to record that gameplay and send it to one of my favorite YouTubers. And I told this story countless times, Stylosa with his overanalyzed series, and on January 15th, that same game Gameplay that I recorded on Hanamura with May was posted on his channel on his series over Analyze. And at that point, I was fully committed to Overwatch. At that point, that was the, the turning point of my life. That brought me out of my dark place. If it wasn't for my friend telling me just to download the game on the free weekend, if it wasn't for posting that first tip video, if it wasn't for Stylosa posting my gameplay, none of this would have happened and I don't know where my life would have been. I don't know if I would have been able to get out of that dark place so fast and I, I think that's a big reason why I, I try to post every day is because I had so many people help me and I want to be there for, for you guys. Whether you're going through a toxic relationship or your family's going through some struggles or maybe you're having a hard time at school. Whatever the case may be, I just want to take you away for five to ten minutes with my stupid Overwatch videos for however long I can. Since my very first video, not my first Overwatch video, but my very first video on this channel, it's always been about us. It's never just been about me and my experience. I've always wanted to take you away from the real world and entertain you, and I still try to do that. And now, because of Overwatch, because of Sty, because of Jeff Kaplan, because of the Blizzard team, and also because of you guys, guys I'm able to do that and that's why I'm grateful and that's why I want to share my experience of how I got into Overwatch and tell my story and to tell you guys thank you so much thank you for 100k thank you for all the questions for the Q&A video thank you for the constant love and support <laughs> you know I, I still don't think it's real but just thank you I again I'm not gonna go on for hours on end just thank you guys I just want you to know that without you this wouldn't have happened so thank you so much i love you guys more of watch videos to come less personal videos yes there will be some more overwatch centered videos but i want to take this time to thank you so i love you guys i always will and thank you so much more of watch videos to come and bye